SmartSuite has given us some incredible different field types that are a little bit non-traditional. You can do a lot more inside of the fields in SmartSuite than you might expect. If exploring this topic is of interest to you, you are in the right place. So stick around and let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth. I am the owner at Gap Consulting, and we've made it our mission to help you get organized and automated with no code tools. SmartSuite is one of our favorite tools coming out of 2022, and I'm excited to talk to you about it today. But before we get into it, I would like to invite you to please use our SmartSuite link so that you can follow along with the things I'm discussing inside of this video. Using our affiliate link for SmartSuite is a great way for you to show some love back to the channel, but also, more importantly for you, there is some exclusive SmartSuite swag that SmartSuite has made available only to our YouTube audience. So in order to claim that swag, you have to sign up for SmartSuite with our link and then fill out and let SmartSuite know when you've upgraded to a paid account, at which point they will send some swag your way as a way of saying thanks for having checked out our videos. So if you are new to SmartSuite, be sure to grab that link below. I'll include it in the description of the video. But without further ado, let's hop on into it and get talking about the different unique fields that SmartSuite makes available that I haven't seen in many other tools. So let's go ahead and hop on in. Now, the first one that I wanna share with you is our address field inside of SmartSuite. This field allows you to bring in an address directly into your record. And in terms of the settings, we have a choice between either a single line, which is gonna just you know, put it all in one line or a multi-line, which breaks it out into the different parts. And you'll also notice that we have the option to include the map display here as well. Now, this is really unique because in fact, SmartSuite is integrated directly with Google's API. And so when you're putting in an address, it's going to cross-reference that against what it knows inside of Google's API, their maps. And it's going to let us know if we found the actual address. And we can even use Google Maps inside of SmartSuite and zoom in and get a picture of what this address looks like. I'll show you that in just a minute, but that is what we get if we include that map display. And then of course, a more standard setting inside of SmartSuite is to either require an entry in the field or not. So this is a little bit of a safeguard if you wanna make sure that this has information in it, you can pop that one and make sure that people are filling out an address. I'm gonna go ahead and update the field though, and we're gonna take a look at these different ones. So I've actually picked some addresses of places that I like in Denver. So here's the first one. If I zoom in here, I can click on that little thumbtack and we can zoom in on this itself drag that around a little bit and we're getting to see just the Google map version of this address. There we are, it's Ball Arena. If we zoom all the way in, we even get access to the whole stadium and we can see the different sections and everything. So really nice detail. Of course, this again is coming from Google, but this is all made possible from the address field inside of SmartSuite. Just to drill in with to another one here, we can do that with all of these different addresses. So if you wanted to zoom into this one, this is gonna take you to Denver's Public Library. So a lot you can do here inside of the address. One other thing to note is that there's a special view inside of SmartSuite called the Map View, and it's gonna look specifically at those addresses. So we can then see those addresses on our map and they might be a little tough to see among the current settings here. So if I were to toggle some things on, I could put satellite on, I can change the style and color of those pins, the size of those pins. So a lot of flexibility with this tool. I really like the uniqueness of the address field. Let's go into a different field though. Enough on that one. Let's talk about the full name field. And the full name field is one of several different compound fields that SmartSuite has made available. And by compound field, what I mean is SmartSuite has given us the ability to include multiple pieces of information inside of one particular field, which is really unique to the tool. Let's hop on into this particular name field and take a look at what I mean. Inside of the name field, we have the option to not just use a single line of text and include a space for the names. It goes deeper than that. We say, hey, I wanna include a first name. I wanna include a last name. I can even include a title and a middle name. I can even then come in and add new choices to the titles if I'd so choose. So I can say Ms. 
and or doctor, whatever different titles I want in order to filter that information inside of my solution in SmartSuite. So once I'm happy with these settings, this is how it's going to display and it shows this to me right up front. Uh, there are no other choices for how that's going to display except for the different toggles we have access to. So again, choose the pieces, the elements that you want to include in this field and then update the field. Now this is where it gets kind of cool because as we're entering that information, let me go into this particular record for example and we'll go to the name field here. I have access to the different sections inside of that field and this is what makes it compound. It's like a field within a field. I have the first name within the name. I have the last name. I have the title within the name. And so there's a lot that I can do with these fields as I'm using them and this is great because if you include it on a form for example, it actually breaks all those little pieces out and it's a lot easier for you to know that you have clean data inside of your database when you know exactly what you're getting. So another slightly more advanced compound field is the checklist field. So this particular field is really unique. It's like items or checklist within a field. So we can get multiple different items crammed together in a field. So here's the unique parts of this. We can toggle whether users can create new entries, meaning that our users, maybe they can't create new entries. They have to use the default entries we give them. Alternatively, we can toggle on or off if users can modify and delete default entries. And then of course, we also have the standard require an entry. We pick the color and you see that it's a checklist here, just like this as it's shown in the display. And we can go ahead and update that field. Now what happens is we can go into these records and add new items, but there's a lot we can do with adding the items. It could be assigned to somebody so I can assign something to myself or to someone else on my team. I can assign a due date to this. The value behind doing this is that this now is going to show up in that person's my work section in SmartSuite. If you're not familiar with the my work section, check out our video that we did on it because it's an incredible element to SmartSuite but it allows people to stay organized and know exactly what they have to do. So I could assign myself a task inside of this checklist. Do this thing, for example. Once I have that, go ahead and add that item and that is now showing up in my work. But that's not all. I have a lot of other options. I can actually connect to records. Here I have four records inside of this particular app and I can actually link to the record inside of this. I can say record two needs some work. That could be a subtask inside of this particular checklist. Pretty cool. By the way, I can click on record two and it's actually gonna open up that record and I can see everything I need to see inside of that record. So the ability now to link inside of a checklist item, it's just opening up a ton of possibility. Now the last piece of this checklist is that we can then go in and check off as these things occur, as they're completed. So as they get done, then we are going to see that progress bar and we see that of course the percent complete 67 is automatically calculated for us and that's what's going to show up in that particular field. So it gives us a nice quick visual of how close this thing is to being done and makes for a really nice sub field. Now the last unique field I want to talk about in this video is the sub items. Sub items actually come in with these various different pieces here. So we have in this case a name, a description, and a date. And this is again another type of field that is like a field within a field. A compound field that gives us multiple layers. And if I want to add items to my sub items, I can say item one, and here's a description and assign a date to it. And again, these fields are customizable. I can add or take away fields on there. Once I add that sub item, you'll notice that first created and last updated don't automatically show up. This value, as it says here, is actually generated when you save the record. So I can save and then once it's done saving, I can go back in and I'm going to see that yes, this was first created on this day. This was last updated on this day by this person, etc. So this again is an item within your field. So sub items, you can have multiple sub items inside of this field and it's a great way to stay more granularly focused on the things you need to do. Now we went fast through all of these different field types and this is just scratching the surface. SmartSuite has so many different complex fields that we can implement that are 
above and beyond what we've seen in other database solutions. So I strongly recommend that you take some time for yourself to explore the different options inside of this tool. Check out these fields that I mentioned, but look at all the fields because all of them in their own way are a little unique and they have unique settings that really allow you to do more with less. Of course, that's the name of the game here. So I hope you got a lot out of this. If you did and you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos just like this. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. As always, I hope you found this to be extremely helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing by our website to see how we can help. We offer an exclusive free training that teaches the fundamentals of no-code tools, including automation. We also have some paid services available, including advanced courses, no-code hourly consulting, as well as custom project consulting. So swing on by to get the help you need, and we look forward to connecting with you soon.